Hi, today we are going to learn about writing equations of period changes. Let's look at a problem. Solve. Write an equation involving tangent function that graphs as follows. We can see a graph here. The general equation for any tangent function is given by y is equal to a times tangent b times x minus c. Now here c denotes the phase shift. Since the graph is passing through the origin 0, 0, so there is no phase shift here. So c becomes 0. So my equation becomes y is equal to a times tangent bx. Now determining b. First of all, let's see the period of this trigonometric function. Now period means the length of one complete cycle of any trigonometric function. If we see this graph, this denotes the length of complete cycle of this trigonometric function. And this is given by period will be 3 pi by 5 minus minus 3 pi by 5 which is 3 pi by 5 plus 3 pi by 5 which is 6 pi by 5. Now period of tangent functions is given by pi by b. b is equal to pi by b. This implies we can also say b is equal to pi by period. This implies b is equal to pi over 6 pi by 5 which can also be written as pi times 5 over 6 pi. Pi and pi cancel out. We are left with 5 by 6 as b. So we get b, we get c. Now we need to determine a. The equation becomes y is equal to a times tangent 5 by 6x. Now tangent functions do not have amplitude since they go up and down in infinite up and down directions in the infinite way. So we can determine the a here by taking any point on this graph. Let me take this point here. This is given by 3 pi by 10 comma 1. So I'll use this point and I'll substitute in the equation to get a. My y is 1 and a times tangent my x becomes 3 pi by 10. 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 2 is 10. So 1 is equal to a times tangent pi by 4. The value of tangent pi by 4 is itself 1. So 1 is equal to a times 1. This implies a is 1. So the equation becomes y is equal to tangent 5 over 6x which is given as the answer in the C part. Next problem. Solve. Write an equation involving cosine function that graphs as follows. The general function for cosine function is given by y is equal to a times cosine b x minus c plus d where c and d denotes the phase shift. Now since the graph is passing through the y axis, cosine function never passes through the origin 0, 0. It passes on some point through the y axis. So c becomes 0, d becomes 0. So I am left with y is equal to a times cosine b times x. So now we need to determine b and a. a is the amplitude here. Now amplitude means half the distance between the minimum and maximum points of the function. The maximum point occurs at 1 and the minimum point is occurring at negative 1. Half the day way distance means this distance which is given by 1 so my amplitude becomes 1 
so this implies a becomes 1 so y is equal to cosine bx now we need to determine b for that let's look at the period This is the complete length of one cosine function here, which is given by, this is 0 here, and this is 24 pi by 19. So my period becomes 24 pi by 19. Now, period is also given by 2 pi by b for the cosine function. So this is equal to 24 pi by 19. Cross multiplying, this implies b is equal to 2 pi times 19 divided by 24 pi 2 times 12 which is equal to 19 by 12. So y is equal to cosine 19 by 12 x which is the answer in the c part. Next problem, solve, write an equation involving sine that graphs as follows. Now we need to use the sine function here. The general equation is y is equal to a times sine b times x minus c plus d. This is similar to the cosine function. a is the amp amplitude, b is the p uh, period is given by 2 pi by b and c and d are phase shift. Since the graph is passing through 0, 0, c is 0, d is 0, amplitude, half the way distance between minimum and maximum points. Maximum is 1, minimum is negative 1, half the way distance is 1. So amplitude is 1, this implies a is 1. b, first of all period. This is the from here 0 till 24 pi by 7. This denotes complete one cycle of period of sorry of this function sine function. So period becomes 24 pi by 7. So b is given by 2 pi by period which is 2 pi over 24 pi by 7 which is 2 pi times 7 by 24 pi which is equal to 7 by 12. So the answer becomes y is equal to sine 7 over 12 x which is the answer in the C part. I hope you can practice more problems on writing equations of period changes now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.